Well, back welcome back. Now, tomorrow marks the start of Positive Ageing Week, which aims to make Ireland the best country in the world to grow older. Isn't that nice? One of its main aims is to debunk some of the negative myths associated with being elderly. And with us to share her personal story of positive ageing is Carmel Murray, as well as Justin Moran, Head of Advocacy with Age Action Ireland. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning for joining Good morning. us. You're very welcome, Carmel. Thank you. Um, a long time viewer, but a first time on the couch this absolutely, morning. Absolutely. Yes. Um, we won't go too hard on you. She thinks I'm going to misbehave. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't trust Simon. <laughs> funny that. Yeah, that's from. funny. Well, then I got that idea about him. Carmel, you are the perfect ambassador, and I, I think Justin has chose, chosen you for for very good reason because you're a great example of someone who's living it up, enjoying life at 74 years of age. Tell us about the latest adventure. Well, uh, last January, I uh, after after eight years now, I hadn't been travelling during the recession for obvious reasons. Sure. But I took off last January and I went for a whole month to India. Now I had been there before. I first went to India in. 2004 to get dental treatment done mm -hmm. and then I went back in 2008 and I spent eight weeks touring around India and went up to Nepal as well. So I got to know India very well and last January I went back to finish my dental treatment and to have a good holiday. And why why India? Did it hold, I know you were there for dental treatment, but did that part of the world hold a fascination to you or had you always wanted to go there? Not really, no. I, it was mainly for the dental treatment first mm. because I uh, knew of a doctor, an Irish trained doctor who was Indian. So someone had put you and, in touch yes, with this exactly, guy? Yes, exactly, exactly, yes. So okay. that's, that was the main reason. I had been to a wedding down in uh, Malaysia and I just emailed him and said, you know, this is my problem with my teeth and how long would you need to have me see me? and he said 10 days so I just rerouted my way back and stopped in, in uh, Cochin. And it's a, it, do you know what Carmen? it's a part of the world that fascinates me and I think it's one of those places that I'd, I'd like to go to mm. but I'm trying to convince myself to do it. Would can you convince me? Should I go? Well, oh, absolutely. It has so many aspects yeah. to it. Of course, the wonderful weather yeah. uh, for starters. But apart from that, like, I mean, it's full of history, you know, and uh, beautiful palaces yeah. and places to see. And, well, I'm not too keen on the cuisine. No, I'm, I'm not into... Um, are you not? No, I'm not into spicy food. Oh, but no. other than that, like, there is so much to see. And it's a, it's a continent, of course, and there's many yeah. countries in it and they all have different aspects to them, you know. I've been in all of the countries in, in, in India. And did you travel around on your own, Carl? I did, yes. Yeah. Incredibly brave. <laughs> well, I, know, I, I, I mean that for any woman of any age, yeah. not, not because of your age at all, oh, but it's just a brave thing to do, to well, travel around. I, I'm kind of a single-minded person. I've, I've always done things on yeah. my own all my life, you know. And in 19, 2008, when I retired, I said, well, I'm going to go now for a long time. So I went out. Now, having been there already helped a bit. Sure. But I went out and I got in touch with a, a travel agent and I booked... 17 flights <laughs> around India. Now, I came home broke, but that's neither. <laughs> 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 but you had a great time, huh? I had a Most great, people would. I had a great time. And you have to be careful, you know, you can't be out late at night mm. or that, you know. It's like any city in the you world. You need your wits you know? about you. You yeah. do, yes. And I, I kind of am streetwise. I've lived in Dublin all my life. So, so. where's next? On well, on, on the 9th of January next, I'm going off again to India this ah, time. Here. And I'm going on to China the next time. Wow. Uh, I'm going up to um, Beijing and Shanghai. Beautiful. And then I'll come back from there. And, now, uh, I've been to Shanghai. We'll have a chat about that now. Oh, afraid. right. You'll love it. Oh, will I? You'll oh, love good. it. Oh, good. Justin, good morning. Good morning. This lady is the, is the, the, the poster lady for... <laughs> Gracefully travelling around the world. She really is. I mean, I'd be nervous about travelling around India by myself, <laughs> yeah, to be yeah. honest with you. And I think that's why we're so delighted to have Carmel as part of Bank of Ireland Positive Ageing Week, because she's a real example and an inspiration, I think, to many about what older people can do. You know, we've this stereotype about older people in this country and we need to challenge it. Older people are adventurers. They're, some people are workers, they're business people, they're Skypers, they're Facebookers. We've older people who are running marathons and I can't run a marathon at my age. And I think that's what we need to do is to realise that ageing can be a positive experience and it doesn't mean that you have to sit at home all the time. You can, as Carmel has done, travel the world.
Yeah, and of course, mm. there's people in their 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond who may not be as brave as Carmel to travel around India. But I suppose it's small steps, isn't it, Justin? It, it is. And, and over the course of Positive Age, Bank of Ireland Positive Aging Week, which starts um, tomorrow, we've hundreds of events organised right around the country. And they can be everything from tea dances to veterans fencing to Tai Chi to yoga. And it's out there for everybody. And we're really trying to make it an intergenerational event to celebrate the contributions older people make in their communities. I mean, if you go around towns and villages in this country, it's often older people who are running the tidy towns, they're running yes. the GA club. They really give a huge amount. They're at and the heart of the community. They exactly yes. are. And that's what we want to, that's what we want to celebrate. And that's what we want communities to come together and to celebrate older people. Well, it's also having people like Carmel because their stories are inspirational. Yeah. yeah. And somebody could be watching this morning and going, do you know what? Why not? Book, Let's book go to India. Yes. Why not go and do it? Because you'd highly recommend it. I oh, mean, absolutely. And the people, the people are, that's the main thing about it. The people are mm. so, so friendly. And you could spend a lifetime travelling around India itself. It's yes. such a huge uh, country. It's a continent. It's yeah. a continent, yeah. yeah. But uh, they are very, um, they're, they're very fond of their elders as well. They look after them very well. And I mean, I've had people stopping me in the street and asking me where I'm from and they want to talk to me. These are Indian people. Mm. Wow. They're just uh, very curious they about the outside story, world. Yeah. yeah. They never to know why you're there, what are you working, yes, are you travelling, exactly, on holiday, what exactly. brings you there? Yeah, and I have got friendly with one particular family now and he's a tuk-tuk driver. Very and uh, I've emailed him and he's not very well off. So I, instead of getting a taxi from the airport, I've asked him, will he collect me? And I'd have 35 miles of Bockady Road, you know, in the tuk tuk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please video I, that on the camera. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be I'm amazing. going to give him the business. And furthermore, <clears throat> he wanted me. Now, this was a bit too much for me. They suggested. Is this a would, friendship now, Carmel? No, well, a family. A family. A, family, yeah. a okay. husband and wife oh, and, and okay. a son okay. and a daughter who okay. lived together. Well, what did he want? He well, I want to know would I spend the holiday in his house now? That was a bit too much. So I said. Very no. kind of him. Very kind. So I said, no. But I said, book me in for two nights. And I'll give him the hotel rate, whatever I would have paid in a hotel. Oh, very good. Yeah, he told me he earns about seven or eight euro a day. Wow. You know, and he's supporting a family. And he, what his wife, he's supporting his wife, you know. So there is huge poverty out there. And when you come back, you say, oh, my God, we think we're bad I with know. taxes and mm. paying this, that and the yeah. other. And we are with the huge bills that we have to pay. But we're still very well off in this country. We are. And, and, and as you say, Justin, it's Carmel's story that you hope to get replicated and as Anna said not maybe in big stages you know mm -hmm. even as the case of inspiring someone just to go over to the UK go to the Isle of Man get out and broaden yeah. your horizons because you can still do it absolutely as you said a moment ago why not I mean maybe yeah. that's part of the what should be the theme of Bank of Ireland Positive Aging yeah. why not do this go for it yeah. you know one of the things that Carmel did before going to India was, was master an iPad and learn how to use the computer I mean, Age Action runs computer classes so where do people get the information Justin oh people can go to ageaction.ie and all the details all the events are on our website right there on the website and it kicks Brilliant. off tomorrow yeah. Carmel, thank you very much. Thanks, Carmel. We want to have a chat thank about you. Shanghai well now. Well done. Okay. Just thank you very much. You. I think Carmel has a lot more stories to come. <laughs> yeah, <she's laughs> we'll have to do a follow-up. <laughs> Quick break. See you in a few. <laughs>